of a Thursday, everyone, and welcome to Cash Me In Paradise. My name is Jocelyn. I'm a cash envelope stuffer and budgeter here in Hawaii. For those of you that are new to my channel, aloha and welcome. And for all of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. What's good, YouTube fam? I hope each and every one of you is having a great week so far. In today's video, I will be going over my calendar spread for the month of January, go over my weekly check-in for paycheck number three of December, see how many YouTube likes I got for last week's Transfer Thursday video, and stay to the end as I cash up part of my bonus check for January. If you're having a great day so far, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and let's begin. All right, so let's get started. So I left off here last week, Thursday, December 30th. I did actually have another back-to-back -back no spend eats for Thursday and Friday, which is so awesome. And then my car insurance was due on Friday, so that was for $33. So for the month of December, I did actually reach my goal. So I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I had 13 no spend dates, which is awesome. My goal was 10 and I did complete the two no spend dates on the weekend, which was awesome. So I do want to continue this momentum going forward in the month of January. Right, so moving right along to Saturday, so I actually did have another no spend date on New Year's Day. We didn't do anything um, as far as uh, shopping. We pretty much stayed home for the most part of the day and then we actually head to the beach in the afternoon. On Sunday, I did actually spend $25. That was for my saving challenges. So I did take $25 from my spending and my eating out um, envelope. On Sunday, we actually did take my cat to the vet. She hasn't been feeling good the last couple of weeks, so we did pick up more cat food. She does have to eat like a specific um, brand from the vet, so we picked up more cat food there. On Monday, I did spend $15 for um, takeout food. Tuesday, we did go grocery shopping, so I spent $80 there. On Wednesday, I did spend $20 for Amazon. And then today, being Thursday the 6th, I won't know if I had another no spend date here or not. So for the most part, I did really well on um, the last couple of days um, as far as my budget. Um, so hopefully this momentum will carry over into January. I have my wallet here. Let's go ahead and see how much cash we have left over to carry us through to the end of the week. So groceries, I normally allocate $170, so I still have $50, $70, and $90 left over for the week, which is awesome. We have been eating a lot of leftovers from the last couple of days, which has definitely helped us to not go out and purchase any food. Alright, I haven't had to fill up gas, so I still have the $100 gift card and then the $50 that I usually budget for. Kate Ford, I do still have some money left over. So we have 5, 10, and 15. And yikes! <laughs> Don't have anything left over for spending my cats and drinks and eating out. So I will be on timeout for the rest of the week. <laughs> nah, just kidding, but. I do hope to um, at least have some money left over so that way I can um, use that to pay down my care credit card. Alright you guys, moving right into my January calendar spread. I still cannot believe that we're already in the month of January 2022 just kicked off. I always like to map out my calendar for the month. It just kind of gives me a screenshot of my month overview. Um, so I do like to start off with my pay date. So I do get paid bi-weekly every other Thursday. So my pay dates this month fall on the 13th and the 27th. And I will be doing my bonus cash stuffing every other Thursday. So I will be doing a total of four cash stuffing videos this month. 
Next up, I like to list out any um, bills that I have due for the month. Um, so first up, we have my CARE credit card, which will be due on January 9th. On the 13th, I have my music for YouTube come out. That's about $8. My rent is due on the 15th, and that's for $550. Uh, my cell phone bill is due on the 24th, that is for $100. And then on Friday the 28th, my electric bill is due, and that's about $120. And then every Sunday I do like to do my uh, savings challenge videos, so you can find all of my videos on Sunday for that. And then I will close out the month on the 31st with my sinking funds update video. So that's the overview of the month. You've got mail. <laughs> So a lot of you know that I am obsessed with pens and notebooks. So when I saw the budget with free handcrafts epoxy pens, I was super excited. And I love the packaging that it came in. It's so festive. Um, it actually came in a few weeks back, but I wanted to wait till I got a few more items to do like a Happy Mail haul. And I love butterflies. So I thought that butterfly sticker was super cute. Let me just go ahead and take everything out. So it also comes with care instructions for the pen. So you want to avoid leaving it in extreme temperatures. Do not put it in your mouth, of course, and do not throw it away. It is refillable and it was handmade with love. And then she also has her thank you card and all of her um, social media handles. So she's on Instagram, YouTube, as well as her Etsy shop, which is crafted by free. So I'm so excited and I love the sticker. You've got great taste, yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Can you all guess what color pen I got? My OGs know that I love purple. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Let me just go ahead and open it real quick. Wow. So shiny, I love it. Let me go ahead and find paper and then I can go ahead and test it out. Let me go ahead and just test it out real quick. Alright, so that's my name in Japanese. Writes really well, you guys. I really recommend this pen and you can customize it to whatever color that you like. And she also included this really cute heart that she made herself just in time for valentine's i like that it has like the red foil inside so i will definitely use this thank you so much girl and if you would like to purchase a pen i will definitely leave all of her information down below another thing that i am obsessed with are candles if you haven't already guessed especially scented candles so when I saw that Stephanie of On The Books Budgeter created eco-friendly candles, I knew it had to try them out. So I ordered the peppermint coffee candle, so I'm so excited to open the package in just a moment. And she did include her thank you card, so if you would like to order a candle, um, it's scented spectrumcode.etsy.com. I will also leave her information down below. And it says made with love. And then it just has a little bit of information about Stephanie. But I'm so excited. I love the packaging. It's eco-friendly. Right, so I purchased the four ounce candle. And you guys, it smells so amazing. I wish you guys could smell it, but you can see the coffee beans. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like I'm drinking a cappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> so excited to light this candle later on to D. And I do love that she uses all like, you know, natural ingredients. It's not harmful for anybody or any um, pet. So I highly recommend this product. I will also leave her information down below. And the last happy meal comes from a giveaway prize that I recently won on Budget with Josie's channel. And I already opened it. So I will just go ahead and take everything out. I always have a hard time, if I get something, I always have to open it like that D. <laughs> All 
remember it. But I love this cute little zipper inspired, like it's an island. I like the leaves, super cute. Can definitely use this like if I go to the bank. So thank you, girl. Really like that. And then it has her um, like thank you for her friend's shop. So this is actually um, her friend's business. So awesome, Sam shop. And she sent me a card, but I won't read that on camera. So she sent me customized um, cash envelopes or zippers super cute so the first category we have is home opoly so i will be using this for my saving challenge when i do the house opoly adventure so anytime i want to go out and have fun i will use that category i definitely do want to increase my giving in the year 2022 and then this is for my savings i mean personal savings i don't really kind of disclose how much I save every check but I do um, pay myself first and then investments so you know I do participate or invest in the stock market so this would be another envelope I can use so thank you Josie I really like everything that you sent me and again if you would like to check out her friend shop it's awesome Sam shop before we jump into the cash stuffing can you all guess what day it is what day it is Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> it's Transfer Thursday. For those of you that are new to my channel, I participate in Transfer Thursday, which is solely determined on the amount of YouTube likes I get on that current week's Transfer Thursday video. And then in the following week's video, the amount of likes I received in that previous video is the dollar amount I will transfer towards my house down payment. And the money that I am saving up is currently being invested in the stock market to get a bigger return on my investment. And wow, you guys, you guys are so amazing. I had a total of 86 likes this week. So I will be adding another $86. And I do use all prop money. I don't take out any cash for this. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, and 86. I'm just go ahead and add it to this envelope. All right, so I have a 1,000 placeholder here, which is a representation of $1,000. So we have 1,000, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 1600, 16, 50, 51, 52, and 1,653 dollars. Wow, you guys, you guys are so amazing. I can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. You guys continue to show me love and support on my channel. All right, it is another week, which means another opportunity. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and let's see how many likes we can get for next week's Transfer Thursday video. Moving right into my cash stuffing. So I have my bonus check, part of my bonus check here. All right, so this week we will be working with 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 300 dollars. Right, so if you missed my last video of where I emptied out all of my envelopes or if you're new to my channel, I did unstuff all of my uh, money that I have saved up for the year. So I do want to start over for 2022. So first up, we have my aqua blue binder. And I will be stuffing my new car. All right, so new car is going to get 40, so 20 and 40. And my current car, my car loan is actually paid off. So I own my car, but I do want to save up for a new car. You just never know when your car will break down or if you need to get a new one. Next up is car maintenance and it's gonna get $20. So car maintenance to me is so um, expensive and it's least favorite envelope that I like to stuff. <laughs> But I know that it's helpful to have money set aside for those what ifs. All right. And my emergency fund is also fully funded and all of the money is in my bank. 
So the emergency fund is gonna get 40. All right, 20 on 40. And the reason why I decided to take out all of my cash is I just didn't feel safe carrying all of this cash at home. And I did want to get a, you know, return on my investment or my savings. So that's the reason why I took everything out and I deposited into my high yield savings account. Next up, we have my future binder. And my favorite um, category is my Roth IRA. So I do have 1800 stuffed in this already. We're going to be adding another $100. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So important, you guys, to save for your retirement. All right. And then the next category is going to be my three to six month expenses. 20, 40, 60, 80, on 100. Uh, this is another category I think is so important. You just never know when you might need more money than your emergency fund. So it's always good to have money set aside for that. All right, it's gonna do it for this binder. All right, you guys, I have a total of $1,900 saved for my Roth IRA for 2022. And the max amount you can contribute this year is $6,000. So I'm making tremendous progress here. And if you would like this tracker, I do have that information linked down below, um, but I did get it from D versus Debt. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it this far into the video, comment hashtag Roth IRA 2022 down below. I will catch you all in my next video. Aloha, take care.